that will be, uh, I believe, Grudge Door will be released into the wild, and then uh, final playoffs. Looks like we got our seeds entered in, and we'll get this race going. Place your bets now. Lock them in. And here we go. Early trap door for Tang. We out. One one's old. I'm looking for that new crypt. But uh, Oker's gonna check that quick uh, crate there. It's a magic apple, but that's not enough. Oker's gonna reset and head down that trap door. Try to catch up to Tang here, who's almost through one, two. Finds the cracked wall. Gonna use the Minotaur to open it, looks like. Gonna take a hot second, but we'll get it to work. Oker's gonna just uh, bomb into there. Not a terrible shop. Uh, holy water and a compass pickup for Oker. Tang could kill. If they want. No, it looks like they saw what they, <laughs> what the blood shop held and decided to keep that Minotaur from knocking into the wall there and just gonna go down with that extra bomb. The blood rapier on 1-3. Uh, I think Ochre passed it. Should be where that last bat is. Isn't gonna get it, but into your first boss, it's yeah, Fortissimal. Tang got a luck charm before headed down the stairs. And a little wonky fight here for Okra. Try to make it go a bit faster with uh, shurikens, it looked like. Maybe not. But black chest check, it's a class rapier. Tang's gonna wait to see what's in there before deciding and gonna go through dagger. Okay, that's what it was. It's like they have holy water, they can't use <laughs> the throwing stars. It's a risky uh, maneuver. Sometimes it can be faster, sometimes not. Both our racers into 3-2. Oker just into 3-3. Three, three. Looks like we're not doing too much extra exploring here. Just finding our mini bosses and getting done. Tang looks a little lost. Eventually finds their way. To the exit. Maybe he was doing a little extra exploring. Conga, your zone two boss. It's gonna be kind of a long fight for Okra. Has to deal with the conga line and drop the beat. I'm gonna try to make it go a little bit faster with that holy water, but we'll not get a flawless victory. And into zone three. There is a shrine of darkness to the right in zone three and a jaw. To take the darkness, can check the shop on the way back for some thievery. While Tang bombs the throne on Kanga. Pretty okay shop for Okra. Gets a uh, Dove Charm and uh, Chainmail. I'd like to see that, but we're still on the Glass Rapier, which Tang's gonna switch off of with the Black Chest, getting the Flawless Victory, and gets a Titanium Rapier. Meanwhile, Okra has lost their Glass Weapon turning it into a shard. And now it's gonna be at a huge disadvantage. <laughs> Unless we find uh, something in the shop here and you get bailed out. Crossbow. Hey, you get a crossbow. Oh, it's obsidian. That's not terrible. Uh, just gotta deal with crossbow awkwardness. Ooh, Tang having some problems in the dark there. It takes a Minotaur charge to the face. Nice thing about crossbow is it has a very high range and uh, piercing when you're using the bolts. So it can take care of the riders and uh, blade master is pretty easy. Still dealing dealing with the obsidianness of it all though, so you got to keep your beats. And if you don't want it to snag, you just 
don't reload it. You use all the bolts and treat it like a dagger. Tang taking a diagonal hit down to one heart. Okra down to half a heart on the trap door into your zone three boss, which looks like this is deep blues. Oh, uh, it's a uh, core riff and crossbow actually works really well on core riff because you can just go up and shoot it. So really fast fight for Okra there. Tang's gonna have to use a bomb to get into phase two. And a fireball spell in the purple chest. We're gonna be looking for some type of healing here. There's a gargoyle right next to Okra. Gonna bomb for it. Uh, gets a ring of peace and cheese. That's great. Take those. Tang checking a uh, red chest there. Didn't see what they found. Was it crown of thorns? And heavy glass for Okra as well. Already taking one hit on it. And another hit from the dragon there, down to the glass bib. And gonna switch off to quartz. I think that's a fair swap. And uh, Tang just dealing with this darkness here, has to back off a little bit, and it looks like they took a pretty big hit there. Or they uh, food buffered it. I think that's actually what happened. And uh, here's a transmute for Okra getting off that obsidian crossbow onto obsidian cat. Also finding a blast helm in there. This will be a much more comfortable build, maybe. Uh, down to half a heart. Hopefully opening this gargoyle for some more cheese. Something. Or just gonna leave it behind and die. Okay. <laughs> we can do that too. And it was a carrot over on Tang's side. Well, magic carrot. And that's gonna leave Tang uh, the opportunity here for the first loot. Just needs to stay alive. Already switching to slow play, found a squagga suit. Let's take another look at that death for Okra. Just pushing a little too quick into that mini boss room, especially on half a heart. Yeah, Harpy coming around the backside. Gonna lock you in. Death Metal, your zone four boss. Hopefully we get a ring here for Tang. Checking purple, I'd imagine. Gonna be able to see what we're doing. Finds Ring of War, that'll work just fine. Excellent pairing with uh, any rapier. Get the pushback on it for an extra lunge. And commence slow play procedures. Full clearing zone five for all of its goodies. And with the crown of thorns over on Tang's side, they're gonna have a real easy time of healing up if they need to. Stand on the conduit, attack maybe one or two enemies. You end up killing like 20. It looks like we're skipping 5-2, checking a uh, arena in 5-3, finds an earth spell. That's good enough for a quick dead ringer kill. To get the earth and then the battle shovel for uh, the cleanup. Okra looks like they didn't want that glass rapier after the zone one boss and went for purple. Got some earth domes, so not really winning out there. But well, we'll see our first dead ringer fight of the match. Got a left side spawn. And yeah, looks like some earth spells here. And yeah, just gonna line up that battle shovel kill. Easy play there. And then a dark minotaur charge for Okra. Back into 1-1. One, one. Tang has enough bombs for the stage to get into phase two with no problems. Gonna make sure dad is out of the way. 
now needs to deal with this red dragon, but handles it just fine. Time for lures. Or attempts at them, anyway. <laughs> Dealing with some mini-boss uh, spawns first. Looks like that's gonna do it. Tang gonna take the first loot of the match. Just under 10 minutes with 9.45 race time, 9.34 in game. BG. Like we're getting readied up for the next race almost immediately. I believe there are a few more yet tonight. We check the schedule, which we just posted in chat. Got Rat Racing versus Sif Kriya, Mins versus Paratroopa, and then a whole heck ton tomorrow as well. Still got a, quite a bit yet to go. All right, Black Chest and a value bomb on 1-1. One, one. Get a bomb back. Not terrible. And a bunch more bombs in the blood shop. Okra going down to uh, a yellow skeleton, uh, cherry picking that blood shop. Meanwhile, Tang's gonna use the bomb to kill the blood shopkeeper and get everything in there. Blood shovel, gold staff, red boots. Pretty good, uh, pretty good first blood shop there. Get the gold kills, got your extra bombs. Already got your goo boots going. And Okra gonna skip it. Just dagger and bomb. I'm gonna use that bomb for a faster Minotaur kill. Trying to keep pace already with Tang. Hopefully we find another one on 1-3 one and does. So the zone one boss still has potential for a quick kill. There's a good blood drum shot for Tang taking out the red dragon in two beats. Looks like Tang wants to get into this 1-3 shop before headed down. And it's a good thing they did, because it's a locked shop. Okra found a trap door. And a ring of pain and maybe ballet shoes? Deciding that, or a lead boots. Tried for glass, but not enough money. Ring of pain, a uh, very welcome addition. And we're both going to be on the core riff at relatively the same time. There's your dagger throw kill for Okra. Going to get black chest for a better weapon saying trying to line up these drums oh maybe not it's a uh, titanium broadsword quite a long fight for tang here could have been quicker perhaps they just want to see their opponent get ahead so they get a free early look at zone two they'll be checking purple chest here finds a fireball spell And Okra into 2-2. Two, two. Tang gonna get their Leprechaun on 2-1. I think Okra's got away there. Tang just staying within striking distance. Letting Okra doing all the scouting. And a uh, Dagger of Frost switch out for Okra. I guess I would rather have that than a Titanium Broadsword. Oh, that's the cheapest Obsidian Warhammer I've ever seen. <laughs> 15 gold pieces for a big ol' hammer. Okra's gonna grab that. And uh, gets done with that death metal fight. 
Gonna fight a shield tome. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, Ankalagor. Uh, I remember buying a set of tools once upon a time, and the first time I used the hammer in there, uh, the head of it snapped off. <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. But it looks like Ulcras is doing just fine. Making quick work of this zone three. Tank still on that gold staff plus pain. Let's see if they can push that weapon or if they want to switch it out. There's a transmute on 3 3. Okra's going to get a shovel of glass after all that. And then break it. <laughs> but gets a uh, frost spell for their trouble. Make their way towards the exit into the deep blues, your zone three boss. And tank switch off to a uh, base cat. Works pretty well with a ring of pain. That's still dealing that one damage. And tang will get a big dig. Okay, after all those transmutes. So two damage cat. Much better. We'll also find that freeze spell. Food shop or okra can bomb for it. Two extra hearts and some cookies. Tang into your zone three boss. Could uh, do a freeze here for a quickish kill. Making it safe before we do that though. Hammer in zone four, gotta be a little wary of where the warlocks are. You might hammer around a corner and find yourself in the middle of a room surrounded by enemies. And Tang's starting to push a little bit here, cutting this level in half. Right to the exit, mine those telemonkeys, and we'll be down into 4 2. Looks like there's a potion on 4 2. No way to get in there for Okra. And there's that Warlock teleport I was talking about, taking a hit there. Could use that Armadillo, but just gonna go. Has enough health. Uh, Tang will be able to just dig into there with the big dig. Getting a few heals before headed down into 4-3. Just behind Okra, who defeated that red dragon. And into Fortissimo, your zone 4 boss. There's a quick freeze right away from Okra. Um, that should work just fine, yeah. Good whack-a-mole there. Going to be checking uh, red chest here for grenade charms. That's not terrible. And into zone five. Imagine if Tang decides to go for chests, they'll grab those grenade charms too, but looks like they're just going to skip into zone five. Has a few, uh, few beats to catch up. And will be possible to do this as uh, Ochre will be snagging on pretty much everything where Tang can just scoot on past while attacking. Ooh, that uh, Shriner there had a Rhythm Shrine. That wouldn't be too terrible at this point in the match, but it looks like both racers gonna skip that. Yeah, concern as always with uh, Hammer is your Dead Ringer fight. Can be quite snaggy, but we got the Shield Tome for a little bit of safety. And Okra is going to be in it first. Tang just like six beats behind. It's a left side spawn. Looks like we're going to attempt Japanese strats for Okra. That rider is going to be a problem. Good freeze taking care of all the enemies there. Well done. But Tang did take the lead. Into uh, Mecha Dancer first. Uh, Blood Drum and Big Digs for Tang has a potion in tow, so uh, relatively safe. Going to get the first hit on Necker Dancer there. Okra needs to start going at the Necker Dancer. As uh, Tang's handling these lures much better. 
and it's gonna be a race to the stairs. Tang's already there. Okra in the bottom right corner, unfortunate. Close. EG. Oh, 838 for Tang. 827 for Okra, but 851 race time. EG. Remember, Okra did uh, a quick reset at the beginning of that match. That's where the uh, difference in times will be coming from. And we're headed right into our third and final race of the match. Here we go. Quick reset for Okra and Tang, both kind of going in the incorrect direction there. Red chest holds just a gluttony charm, okay. And not a great shop. Uh, Luminous Torch, Glass Whip. I think we grabbed the Glass Whip, if anything. Early four damage is pretty good. You can always switch it out after the zone one boss, but... Just gonna continue on. Tang is gonna keep the bomb. Move on into one, two. Skipping the blood shot. Trapped or fine for Okra into one, three, mosh pit. Tang taking a monkey hug. We'll be able to get this barrel here before headed down. The stack of bombs for Okra on one, three. That barrel contained a magic apple. An extra heart for Tang. Gonna use it on uh, the Minotaur to keep it in place. And... What's going on here on Okra's side? Why is there a glass shovel on top of the red chest? I'm assuming I missed a uh, shrine or something. Well, Okra's down. Uh, Oh, and Tang taking a fireball from a moonwalking red dragon. <laughs> That's good stuff. And gonna get, it was a Shrine of Space that was doing some shenanigans there. Tang gonna get a maps from it. And checking the shop. Gonna buy some cookies before headed out. Early advantage for Tang again here. Okra's gonna try to go fast through this zone one. Get caught back up. Easy dagger bomb strat for Tang. We'll be checking black chest for our weapon, and we have a old faithful. Always reliable titanium longsword. There's a glass shrine on 2 1. Could consider hitting that. Longsword's pretty safe, and Tang is gonna do that. Finds those lead boots again before headed towards the exit. And Okra back near that dragon. Uh, it's like they tapped the Shrine of Space. Getting the Miner's Cap and Obsidian Shovel. We got a lock shop here over for Tang on 3-2. Get that open and see what's inside. Another Ring of Pain. And... Uh, a bow and ballet shoes. Gonna pick up that ring of pain again. It's gonna be quite a long fight for Okra in uh, the zone one boss, Coral Rift. Just a dagger. Very similar looking uh, <laughs> two, three for Tang here, digging to the right above the shop and uh, headed to the exit. Swag a suit in there. Not enough money though, but we can buy those pulse tomes and kill for it. That works. Okra finally getting uh, the flawless victory. Gonna be getting that old faithful, but Tang's already a zone ahead here. And done with the boss, death metal. Checking Black Trust, getting off this glass, finds Titanium Harp. Not terrible. Much more safe than a uh, glass weapon. 
And with pain, it might as well just be a three damage harp. <laughs> These red bats suppressing Tang here. <laughs> Finally gets them down, and there's a titanium spear in there. Not gonna grab it. I'm gonna leave with the harp again. And you may have noticed uh, the maps will be quite different for our racers. Uh, Okra taking that shrine of space has an additional room in each uh, map up to zone four. But finds a uh, shrine of risk with a courage shovel. And it's gonna get a free map and ham here from a uh, scared Freddy. No, he's scared. You didn't have to murder. Oh no. And now we're switching off the miner's cap, which I don't. Oh, has shovel of courage. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Artisanal fight for Tang. Gonna get the flawless victory, maintaining that one zone lead. Checking black again, a obsidian broadsword gonna stay on the three damage harp. Into zone four. A glass rapier for Okra now. Did they uh, need scroll for that? Looks like it. Old choice, but we do have to catch up, so that's the choice that needs to be made on three three. Finds a quick trap door and is catching up to Tang, who just finished 4 1. And Okra gonna skip the boss chests there, needing to catch up. No oh, bad telemonkey for Tang. You can parry music by having earbuds, of course. Oh, big hit for Tang, just taking a uh, Ghoulom hit. Maybe miscalculating what uh, beat they were on. But finds ham in a crate next to a stack of barrels, so we'll be all right. But we're both on 4-3 now. Okra with an impressive uh, catch up here with that tight, or uh, glass rapier even. And uh, your zone four boss is gonna be King Konga. Uh, Tang with plenty of bombs, 12 of them to go with that blast helm. Should be able to bomb throne and clean it up. And there goes Okra trying to go fast at that exit, using a bomb next to the sarcophagi and a blade master just cherry picking the exit. take him down that's gonna open it up for tang to clean up this match for a full sweep plenty of hearts has a uh, blood shovel for a quick phase two into the necker dancer fights bunch of bombs for safety using some there on electric balls Even just tanking some hits here. Wanting to end this match now. We'll see our final Dead Ringer mat uh, fight here. It's a left side spawn. It's like we got some Oblivion strats. There's a rider. Oh, it's messed up. Off the rails, Oblivion. Tang should be able to recover. They're gonna make it safe by taking out the sarcophagi. Make sure we get this done correctly. Yeah, that one three dragon <laughs> doing work. Taking out Okra again. The snipe from across the screen. And here we have it, Tang into phase two of the Necrodancer fight. Oh. 
halfway done with it already. Excellent lures here. Dad with a flail makes them much safer. And here you go, Tang getting it. Pretty consistent times here, 9.32 race time. GG, let's check out that death one more time for Okra that ended it all. And you see him bomb there and just try to get out. But not with that Blade Master. 